I've always struggled growing grass on the hill in my lawn because of the washout from rain and so I actually decided to try tachyfier this time and I was waiting until I got the results before doing this video and by the way this works great. Now what you need to do is mix about one pound per 7,300 square feet so that if you do the math is a very tiny amount and then you mix it it says with 500 gallons of water but I'm doing it with a backpack sprayer so I did four gallons now I'm, I'm only doing a 500 square foot section so you know I'm using very little product and I'm using the paint mixer to mix it up now this stuff was really hard to get it to dissolve so I would recommend using hot water I happen to use cold hose water and then you're just gonna really want to mix it up and uh, use as much water as you can because as you'll see later on when I'm pumping it's really hard to pump this stuff even though it looks just like water All right, now I'm just going back and forth. You can see that already my uh, spray nozzle was getting clogged up. So it was more of a little stream of liquid coming out than a spray. Um, but I kept going and just went back and forth, back and forth, and tried to get as even coverage as I could. Uh, you're gonna get quite the workout with this because the consistency is weird. It's, I would call it like a thinned out maple syrup where, you know, it's a little bit sticky and goopy but it still is liquid and uh, it, it took a lot longer than I thought um, but watering it in later and throughout the renovation process it really made a difference so I totally recommend this even though it's it is a huge pain now if you use a lot more water I'm sure it will spray better um, but I wanted to just get it done um, the key after this though is to really wash out your backpack sprayer now I'm using the cheap one you get at Harbor Freight for 20 bucks because I didn't want to mess up my brand new uh, 20 volt backpack sprayer which is awesome I didn't want to chance it so that would have been helpful <laughs> so I'm not pumping it but hey you got to do what you got to do and uh, I just kept going over it until I, I used up all the product because obviously um, it wasn't coming out as a single stream so it it's was a process. Now the only thing I would have changed while applying this is if you notice I'm walking along the top of the slope. Um, I forgot to go along the bottom of the slope and spray it from that angle. So towards the road I did miss quite a few spots but I mean overall I'm really satisfied. Uh, the, the Kentucky bluegrass will fill in and expand into those open areas that I missed so that's fine but totally recommend this. Um, yeah, do if you've got a hill or you're you're doing it during during a stormy season, make sure you use tachyfier. It really does a good job. All right, so you can see the slope has plenty of grass. The street, uh, not filled with washout. So this tachyfier has worked really well. We've got an about three inches of rain, uh, about one and a half inches one night alone. So there's plenty of testing of this. And I'm really pleased with it. You can see grass is coming in everywhere. Now what I did notice is uh, where there's no peat moss, it didn't work so well. So my thinking is the uh, peat moss over the seed uh, really holds it all together, so um, I would recommend doing that. I mean, I always recommend peat moss, but the tack fire um, needs something to adhere to, and the seed isn't enough material to do that. So there you go. It was like 20 bucks for this stuff, and I could do a couple acres with it, so it's really cheap and really effective. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.